All right, y'all. It's your boy Trigger Mike here with another banger. This one, um, I have no idea why I have so much pleasure in what I'm about to report. For those of you that have already heard, Derek Jackson is getting a divorce. Now, that obviously for a married couple is not good news. I'm a married man. I'm not about to be out here, um, you know, wishing death on people's marriage. But this guy in particular is, has been problematic to most upstanding men because we knew what he was doing but more let's get into that and um let me do some housekeeping first make sure you hit the like and subscribe button thank y'all for continue to uh rock with the platform and continue to share this content man it's a, a very important content it's important that we get it out to the masses all right so um Derek jackson they call him a relationship coach um i'm not even gonna go in on whether he's qualified to be called that or anything um, I just call him a full on certified simp, man. As far as dudes are concerned, we knew what this guy was doing all together. I mean, we all along, we knew what he was doing all along. So let me just give my synopsis on the situation. Um, I did see the first reporting of it on the shade room. So let's go through what they posted on the shade room. Hit that for the copyright. Uh, late, uh, late last night, blogger Tasha K released exclusive photos of relationship coach Derek Jackson. In close proximity with another woman, not his wife, in Miami during Art Basel. All right, so um, I did see that picture. And this guy, I mean, does he have like ugly man syndrome? Because I checked. Derek Jackson has 1.3 million followers on Instagram. And for some reason, I don't know why. You know, I can get it. I get it, right? Um, if his wife's done with his cheating and all of that type of stuff, that's, that's understandable. They're actually church oriented folk. All right. So if she's saying, I don't want to deal with that. It's not what we agreed to then, you know, that's just what that is. But, um, no, this dude, I don't know exactly. I really want to know how he views himself because when you see the women that he's now being caught out with, like, dude, please wrap it up. That's all I'm going to say about that. But let's continue. Shortly after, Derek Jackson announced his divorce and alluded to the fact that he had separated from his wife, Danea Jackson, earlier this year. So if that is true, that means that they were separated and he's out here doing his thing. The issue that arises, and I'm sure everybody else has seen the video, so we're not going to play it here. But, but the issue that arises is that his wife released a video just last month striking down, so to speak, the haters that were speaking against their relationship. And she was actually referring to their relationship as Derek and Denea Jackson. So I'm wondering if she knew this was coming, right? If she knew that this was going to be a full out divorce. Okay. So, it goes on to say, however, it doesn't appear Denea was on the same page. If you recall, less than a month ago, she posted a video on social media spewing word curses over anyone that tried to defame or destroy her relationship with Derek Jackson. In November, she released a program for married couple that teaches them how to overcome infidelity. Whatever the case may be, keep both of them lifted in prayer. OK, so this situation seems messy, really, really messy. And I'm going to be honest with you. Um, there were, I guess, high school sweethearts. And um, like I said, they're involved in the church. So I'm guessing he tried to do the right thing. He married her or whatever. This is a natural case of dude's famous now. He's trying to level up, um, trying to get, you know, better looking women or a woman that he feels like matches who he is today, present day, who Derek Jackson is. The guy with 700K YouTube followers, 1.3 million instagram followers he wants a woman to match that status right and unfortunately that's not his wife if we're being honest but <clears throat> that is the mother of his children i did not expect him to do her like that naturally we thought if he was going to be talking all this simp stuff that he wouldn't do anything like this and that's what brings me to the title of this video i've known this guy was a fraud for quite some time i actually because you know I've been in this red pill manosphere space just a little while, but I've been preaching its ideology for a, a very long time. Women were sending me, I think I had, uh, yeah, a few women that I knew sending me this man's 
um, shorts. They were sending me clips of him and things he was saying. And never once did I think he was saying anything even remotely profound. In fact, I saw perfectly through him. I said, this guy has a complex. And I remember explaining this to a female once. And they said, what do you mean? I said, this is who Derek Jackson is. He has an ugly dude's complex. Or, moreover, he has like a like a worship like a weird type of God complex. I think he has an ugly dude's complex where he wants to compete with other men like most men do. Right. But he wants to do it in a way where he's not being true to himself or his actual beliefs about women. He sees himself standing on top of a hill, a bunch of women standing at the bottom, worshiping him, but no other dude is allowed to come up there and challenge him. And he knows the best way to get those women to worship him is to rain down words of encouragement, um, echo their talking points, no matter how delusional they are. That's who Derek Jackson is. He was just uttering back the delusions of women and agreeing with it and pretending that men should do better. He would exaggerate circumstances about men to basically pander to women. This dude was a master panderer. If if the, if a if they could teach a master class on pandering to women, his face would be there. Do you understand? Pandering master. This is the panda master here. I don't know how else to say it. All right, that's who Derek Jackson is. So, with doing all that, all right, women are the tastemakers. If you want to be famous, if you want to get rich quick, if you want to sell something fast, and you want it to be adopted even faster, sell it to women. And that's exactly what his, he did. His relationship coaching, I don't know where it goes from here now. Honest, le- honestly, let me know in the comments. Discuss it with me in the comments. What, what credibility does he have for anything he's saying right now? All right. So I, I would really love to see where his career in relationship coaching progresses from here. I don't think it's looking good, but hey, we'll see, right? So this is pretty deplorable behavior. He has a wife, um, Danea was his wife, and they do have children. The least you can do for putting a woman who kind of didn't seem like she was really about this life anyway. Obviously, she's not going to stop that money from coming in. She's not going to stop you from being famous. But as most men do who are married, if you're going to agree, if even if your wife agreed that, hey, you're a man, you enjoy variety, do what you do, I believe he fumbled in a different way because I believe he actually has an ugly man's complex. He wants to be seen out with these chicks. So he, it makes him look powerful. And as somebody who got married and had kids and they've been together so long, I bet you, he felt like he didn't experience enough. So he felt like he didn't experience enough, which is really interesting to me. Um, this guy, you know, take it for what you will, but I, I believe that, um, his little helmet of salvation, as it says, has crumbled. I don't know. He ha- he does not have the credibility to stand on anybody's head anymore. I do feel for his wife. Hopefully they can remain amicable um, through it. But this dude is a full on fraud. And this is why women need to be- beware of dudes like Derek Jackson. All right. When it comes to men like me who are speaking the words that we do, we're speaking bluntly and We're telling you what we want as men. We're telling you our expectations, even though it's hard to hear. It is imperative that women listen to us because this is how real men talk. This is how real real men feel. And since the beginning of time, we are the men that actually protect women's interests. He's selling you a bill of goods. He sold you BS. He sold you delusion back, your own delusion back to you. Unfortunately, you got to look at it like this. Men are logical and we operate by philosophy. We're going to give you, you know, it's very important that when a woman says, don't lie to me, tell me the truth. Tell me how you feel. Well, look at this manosphere and red pill space. We're telling you how we feel, how we feel. We're telling you what we want from you. So stop listening to the Derek Jacksons of the world and start listening to the trigger mics. Start listening to all these other guys in the, in these platforms. I'm I'm actually going to say that. 
All right. I'm not trying. I'm not out here trying to be a relationship coach like him. I'm just trying to say, let go of your delusions and really clue in and listen to what men want. Stop trying to get advice from false prophets such as this guy. He he's only doing it to enrich himself. He knows that you'll fall for anything if it's your own delusions echoed and sold back to you. He knew that. That's how he got so famous. Most of his followers, a large amount of his followers are women. He's only echoing back. He doesn't even feel this way about men. I guarantee you he's sitting around with his homies talking the same shit that I'm talking most of the time. All right. He just knows what to sell to women. That's it. All right. So take that as food for thought. This guy, Derek Jackson, has been a fraud. He's been an absolute fraud. Um, I can't stand him. Let me know what you think in the comments. Again, hit like and subscribe. Share this. Um, we really got to stop these Derek Jacksons from rising. And it really starts with the majority of our ladies and recognizing these false prophets when they pop up. All right. He didn't live out. He didn't stand on his word. He let a an otherwise um, a, a innocent woman. I mean, I'm going to be honest. He drove this woman crazy. I feel like this went, well, this woman went crazy right in front of our eyes. I feel like she was blindsided by this divorce. I mean, obviously, we don't know their relationship, but if just last month she's making videos like she made trying to curse everybody that's trying to come between her and her husband only to be blindsided by an announcement of divorce because he was pressured by Tasha K. So, you know, this guy is just he's just a, a huge ball of disingenuous actions, man. You know, he's, he's a ball of destruction, just hurting everybody in his wake. Beware of the Derek Jacksons. Not good news for you. All right, Trigger Mike.